Well, hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team playthrough, specifically the post-game, because I've never played uh, the post-game before, and oh, way, way back, I was like, I'm gonna play through my game again, and then actually do the post-game, and then move on to the other Mystery Dungeon games, like Explorers of Sky, which I also haven't done the post-game for, and then Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon, which I've only played a little bit of Miss Super Mystery Dungeon, but overall, those are new experiences. Uh, except, uh, <laughs> uh, for the current playthrough. Uh, I accidentally eat some story. You see, because I was doing my grinding, because I remembered the hellscape that was, I think, is it the buried relic or something relic? The 100 level dungeon of hell where you fight the Reggies. Uh, because that was a big pain to me last time that uh, I played before coming back to this series recently. Uh, I decided to do some grinding. At first, I was just doing, like, uh, normal missions, and then I got to Platinum Rank by accident off-screen. Oops. So I decided to move the training to the dojo and fight the Team Hydro uh, again and again and again and again, and I think I leveled up about ten times. I probably should have brought a, a designated teammate to level them up as well, because... I'm just stuck on, ah, it's just a hero in the partner. They're the only ones that get the experience. Uh, but yeah, then I decided, since I was going to try and tackle the Buried Relic, because that's the game, the game keeps saying, hey, you need to do that one. Uh, so I decided that I would go and do a different dungeon just to get keys so that I could get the HMs necessary that were hidden within the Buried Relic. Although I think one of them is extra annoying because you need to unlock it and then you need to go through blocks and then you need to fly or something. It was weird. Uh, but as I was doing that one, I went to, I think, the solar cave to get keys. Uh, I Along my way, I got some HMs and accidentally some story. Oops. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do the story that randomly popped up. I didn't even think that was possible. I thought I had to do the Buried Relic, but then again, that could just be the game saying, hey, get the HMs from the Buried Relic. I don't know. But yeah, I missed the original thing. It's like, bibbidi ba, sometime in the morning. No, morning, but only by time. A time so early in the morning that everyone is still in bed. So night. And there is us. Whoa! What? What is it? What? What's happening outside? Whoosh! The sound! Something's coming closer? Whoosh! Okay, uh... I think I saw... Was it Sonic going by? Blue, burr, blue blur speeds by. Sonic the Hedgehog. What was that? What just happened? Something huge flew by at an incredible speed. It seemed to be going toward the mountain range in the north. Uh, still sleepy. It's still early. I'll get you a little more sleep. <laughs> I'm not going to bother to go out there and do something. Weirdness happened. Uh, be gone, Satan, indeed. All right, sure. <laughs> Several hours later. Hey. Hey, Neon. Hey, Neon, wake up! Come on, wake up! Ah, you actually exist. <laughs> Neon, are you awake? There's some sort of commotion down at the square. Let's take a look. Hey, it's nice to have my partner actually be a partner for once in a time. Because seriously, how dare you game do this? this? This is the one thing that I do dislike about the post game is that, and I think is the reason why I stopped playing the post game last time I got to this point. Because it's just like, wah, I don't want to play the game. It's just basically treating my partner not like my partner anymore. Wah. And so it's just kind of weird seeing them now like this. Look, Neon, everyone's gathered around. Did the Kesleon go insane? 
Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Zordon. Rita has escaped. I do not deserve this. I am outraged. What's up, everyone? Up, up, up. How could it be up, I ask you? My beautiful shop, my fine wares were stolen from me. Many, many TMs are simply gone, spirited away. Dark clouds fill my heart. My bank wasn't hit, but these are frightening times. Is the storage okay? No problem. Nothing gets stolen from under my eye. This mama's not about to make a stupid mistake like that. Ka -ka 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 -ka. You're insinuating that we were robbed for being careless? Now wait. Tell me, Kesleon. You saw this thief? Hmm? No, not very clearly I didn't. When I saw it, it had already taken off. Taken off? You mean it flew away? Yes. It flew off on yonder direction, yes. At tremendous speed, too. The yonder direction? That would be the northern range. It is impossible to determine what the thief is. So we'll need to investigate this matter properly. Yes, I beg for justice. My business faces ruination. Oh, no. It was Sonic the... How, what's, his, what's his name? It just left my mind. I'm thinking of the Playboy, like, ego man, super prince of ruination from League of Legends. Because, you know, he was the center of the ruination event. Neon, want to look into this? Neon's team took on the case of pursuing the burglar that struck Kesleon's shop. Is it Kesleon or Kekleon? The burglar's alleged getaway spot, the Northern Range, is now open for investigation. And then I just decided to go back to bed, apparently. And I guess we don't get mail. But as you can see, we are platinum ranked now. I got there by accident. Well, first things first, we're going to grab Shane. You are coming with me, dear ally. We will head back home. Also, I need to check my items. Yeah, because there's... Oh, I guess I forgot to put things away. Hmm. Yeah, there's Waterfall and Surf, the two HMs that I got from the Solar Cave, I believe. We're going to have to put things away... Maybe talk to Alakazam if he... Oh, the people have moved around, I guess, because story happened. Hello, dear. All right, we're going to definitely put these away because you can lose the HMs in this game. So, yeah, I feel even more justified when it comes to, uh, like, <laughs> doing my save shenanigans. We'll have one max elixir with us. Should I take a key? Because we don't... Eh, I won't worry about taking a key with me. If there is a key thing and we need a key in the new, like, range mountain thing, we'll just go and have a dedicated get that thing, darn thing run. Alright. We'll need one more reviver seed, another apple at least. Yes. Alright. I want one apple. And do, 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 where be some reviver seeds? In fact, we'll actually take some gummies that we have, like, abundance of with us. Because why not? We'll also take an orange berry and a reviver seed. Because what I'll do is I'll eat all of the gummies myself so that I can, like, do a thing. Good morning. Ah, another refreshing day. It's cool and all that's peaceful, but there's also been no excitement. It's a little sad. I wish there was some pizzazz to spice things up. I should also... Oh? Who's that over there? Never seen it before. I forget what voice I gave you. Never seen it before. It's not from around these parts. A spinda. No more. I can't walk anymore. 
I'm falling down. Right in front of the Kesselion shop. Goodness, it needs help. I want to go and put my money in the bank. But where? I wish I could do a better Winnie the Pooh voice, but it just doesn't really come out all that much. It's like, it's a very specific in intonation that you need Christopher Robin. It's Neon's house. It's also our rescue team's base. Oh, did you maybe rescue me? Thank you. <laughs> it's okay, there's no need for thanks. Rather than that, what happened? Yes, my name is Spinda. I like to travel. I've been traveling all over seeing the sights and other Pokemon. It was on my travels that I heard rumors of a Mirage Pokemon. A Mirage Pokemon? Yes, that. Isn't it exciting? Ever since then, I've been traveling all over in hopes of seeing the Mirage Pokemon. But I've had no luck. Finally, I became dizzy from fatigue. And I must have passed out. I... I'm giving up on my quest. I'm simply worn out. Wait a second. Are you sure you won't regret giving up that easily? But I... I've reached my physical limit. If I push myself any further, I'll collapse again. It's not good for my health. Please, I want you to have this. Received something. What is this? It's a... Clear wing. Clear wing? Yes, I found it on my travels. It's a wing of some sort. It's transparent, but if you hold it up like this, see, depending on the light, it takes on many different colors. At first, I thought, was it just pretty to look at? But after coming around, or checking around, it appears to be related to the Barrage Pokemon somehow. But I couldn't learn anything beyond that. It's very disappointing, but I'm giving up. I don't think your travels are what made you dizzy. Wait, are you okay? You're still unsteady on your feet. Oh no, when I walk, I always totter. Bye. Be hilarious if he like smacked it to the wall. Clear wing, huh? I don't have a clue what this all is about, but the Mirage Pokemon does interest you, right? I think Zatu is the one to ask for something like this. Zatu should be at the peak of the Great Canyon. We should go to the Great Canyon. All right, so we doubly did a story by accident, I guess. Still need to put my money away. Okay, now everyone's back. That explains it. Welcome to Felicity Bank. I would like, yeah, I, I, I got a lot of money. We'll probably go on a buying spree of friend areas. For many years, countless Pokemon have served on rescue teams. Many have engraved their names in glory, but if anyone asks about the greatest of them all, there is but one hero. It's Lucario, whose exploits as a rescue leader are the stuff of legend. I aspire to be like Lucario. To become even closer to Lucario's greatness, that is my goal and my dream. Well, I do believe that we should have everything. Our money is put away. We have a decent amount of gummies to snarf down. Two apples, two of our seeds, an orange berry, and a max elixir. We shall first do as I always do, and we shall save state. Because we have Great Canyon for the... Oh yeah, I should probably turn off those jobs. Because I was going to go do a job or two when I accidentally did some story. So yeah, Buried Relic, Northern Range, and Great Canyon. First, we'll go to Northern Range. Let's see what we got to do. Northern Range, one floor. I wonder, like... Oh, no. Okay, it's not a shit ninja. Double team all you want. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. Sword dance all your run. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. And now you're dead. Idiot. Oh wait, I should probably go ahead and munch on all of these gummies I gave because I want to increase my IQ because as I was like reading about, the max IQ thing allows you to just 
annihilate terrain, which will help in some HM gathering. I'll still need someone who can fly, eventually, for some of the diddly dees. I'll have to see if I can activate the lava evader, if that's even, like, good for me. Check IQ. Because we have XP Go Getter, which is when battling the first target that are worth the most experience points. Weak type, don't care, non sleeper, because, oh yeah, energy saver, because uh, tied with my uh, stamina band, that's really helpful. Self Curer, which is recovers faster from status problems, doesn't help me because the status problem that I run into the most that is annoying is uh, poison. Lava Evader will avoid fiery lava. Well, I don't think I'm going to run into that much. Item Master, which is... Will use or throw its whole held item. Yeah, nothing really matters. A Hunger Seed. That doesn't seem good. Good job. Annihilate that man. And I shall throw a rock at you. How dare you flee? You must now die. How dare you flee? You must now die. And now we shall follow from whence your corpses came. Although, I must also say that I will also be doing a bit of... Maybe I should turn off that power until we get to enemies that are actually scary. Maybe. Moves. Uh, switch? Yeah. So now you can't use it. Also, he got detect. Because I thought that was good. While we were leveling up. But... From now on, I will also be saving uh, when we enter, like, a new floor. Primarily because of the most evil floor traps that the game can throw at you. And I am here to play a game, not suffer. Oh, no. Oh, thank God it missed. I probably should have used a, a full power attack against you after you did poison power. Note to self. Jump Pluff is a uh, kill on sight. Annihilation for you. Oh no. <laughs> uh, from because I did some like uh, just reading of uh, TV tropes for this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. Because why not? It's infatuated with nothing. The air. And apparently, uh, Silver Wind is a pseudo-nightmare to deal with. If there are, like, multiple of them in a single room. I don't think you needed to protect yourself there, Shane. There, uh, Like, yeah, sure, it had Silver Wind, and apparently that's super effective against you, but... Eh. But yeah, every single floor, we save state. Because, uh... Like, if it wasn't as mean... Like, if the traps weren't as uh, cruel, I would, like, like, uh, nut up and shut up about it. Be like, oh, that's just how it goes. Like, I'm not going to, like, save scum the game, like, uh, poisoning me with a trap. But I'm not gonna let the game, like, destroy my held items. And when it comes to the super duper long ones, they're like, aha. Yeah, like, a slow trap? Sure, I'll suffer a slow trap. I don't mind. Would be hell to face, like, in actual combat. But, overall, that's the trap that I don't mind running into. But traps that are, like, super damaging are ones that I'm just kind of like, nah, I don't think so. Again, like, the food-destroying ones later on in the game. In certain dungeons. The literal... Oh, no. Oh, darn. 
Well, that's annoying, but luckily it didn't attack the one that I like. All right, at least it wasn't. All right, so Shadow Ball is now not usable. It was mostly a desperation attack anyway, but oh well. Yeah, like stuff like that, I will suffer. Uh, no, we're not on a recruitment drive right now. A P.E.K.K.A. Scarf. Uh, oh. <laughs> I was just like, what, what would she do with? Hmm. I wonder if the ability to, like, walk through terrain allows you to also go over water. Probably not, but it would be nice to dream. You can't swing your tail around the diddly D corner. You fool. Oh no, reflect. What does reflect even do? Probably it's like, ah, you used a move, and damage goes right back at you. Be hilarious if now one of the beautiful is like, I want to join your team, but. All that was was, uh, I think, like, money and some orbs, so it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. A bastard. And see, this is why we level up a lot. Hmm. Well, I guess because we're in a... Like, not terrible area. Like, it's not, it's not the nightmare realm that is the relic. So, you can go after foes. Let us team up on this fool, who is spamming a move like a bitch. I will allow my companion to go after enemies again. Even if that does mean occasionally being taken out of, uh... The designation, or not designation, the direction that I want to go from time to time. Ah, fuck, this is a giant room with a bunch of enemies. I, if they all... See, this is why I gave him the uh, detect. Oh, why did the game push me around? I did 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 How dare. How dare the game diddly dee me. Well, we have an escape orb. I wonder if we could... <laughs> Worst comes to worst, we can do that, I guess. Fool, you can only be infatuated with one person at a time. Don't you know the laws of the universe? Although it'd be interesting if infatuation made it so that your partner was like, No, do not attack my beloved. Well, shit. I'll go ahead and smack one down. Just to get him out of here. And now we will annihilate you alone. Goodbye, small child. You fool. I wonder what that high-pitched brink is when I hit <laughs> specifically the hoot hoot while it is doing reflect. Well, if we wanted to speed blitz this, this would be easy. But I do not want to speed blitz. I want to gather resources. Secret power? I could use that TM. Not literally, but I could put it into a box. He better be dead when I get back there. The enemy is dead. He's dead, Jim. Come fight me. Now you will die. How dare you throw a spike into my eye. You cruel bastard. Hmm, we've only seen you like once. How you been? Once again, you can't hit a... <gasps> uh, the bastard's running away. Uh, 
to a dead end, so, uh... Goodbye, dear friend. You ran away. But not far enough, for I could still find you. I wonder how long this dungeon is. It's literally right behind the relic, so... But at the same time, that doesn't really seem to matter. Like, in the grand scheme of dungeoning. I don't think it matters where it is. It's... Okay, the trap failed to work. I wonder what that is. It's, it looks like a, a stinking... What is it? A, sp a literal spike trap. You fall into a hole and you get skewered. That's what it looks like. A brutal way to go. Well, fine, I'll go annihilate him. Of course, that doesn't hit. Congratulations. You hit me once. Aha! Level up! Nice. Alright, what's the move you want to learn? False swipe. Inflicts damage. It leaves the target with 1 HP if it da uh, if its damage would have made the target faint. I don't really know if that has any bearing here. And I prefer detect in your current thing. Plus, it is a lower uh, power than those anyway, so I couldn't really... Mm. So I shall forget false swipe for now. Darn you. Besides, we can... Easily ba -ba -ba. relearn it later if we so choose. Wow, you're super infatuated. You stand there for five billion years. Just get silver winded. And the blast seed. Not really interested in a blast seed. Well, we were there for a while, and it mounted to nothing. There weren't even any items to pick up. Now the game's really being like, Ha ha, wouldn't you like to have a flying companion? Hey, Swallow, wanna join the team? The answer is no. Since there is a max elixir, I shall go ahead and nom nom this. Because why not? I'm out of power points on my shadow ball. And it's on the ground. I have a full inventory. Why not? A gold ribbon? I can sell that for money. Doth thou have the money? Where's the money, Lebowski? gonna die of the water, isn't it? Damn you. It's like it knew. It knew that I wanted it. So it's like, ha ha! Mirthquake. Hmm. I shall put down the spikes because I'd have no use for spikes. I have no use for you, Spider-Man. Ah, thing at level 8? No, no, we just changed. Interesting. Took no damage. I like that the music is kind of remixed. And you know what? I think I'm going to also turn off Detect so that he can't use it until, like, a boss fight or something. Granted, that means I have to micromanage a bunch of things, but oh well. I already have an escape orb. Is there anything I want to throw away for an escape orb? I guess these irons. Kill the bird. The bird is annihilated. This 
is like a mountain range. Why? Why does it feel like an under like a, a cave underwater? Hmm. The vibes, they are odd. In fact, with all the holes, this almost makes me feel like we're on a moon with water. You will die, Birdman. To hell with you. To hell with the bird. Ah, you pumped yourself up. We are going to pump you up. I am going to go another level up. The game is like, get on with it. But I want resources. Resources want me. Hunger seed. Something that can only really be used against us. A petrify orb? What the hell are you? Changes the status of foes in the room to petrified, making them incapable of action. Hmm. You might be a nice thing to have. I shall trade out this Pekascop for you. Well, all right, we have a conga line of doom. Conga in our way. I shall annihilate you all one by one. Fury swipe away, little Spider-Man. You cannot survive me, for I am your god. Is it just a, an eternal march? Okay. Shane is going insane, and so I'm gonna have to say, hey, none, no, none of that. I'll go ahead and I guess throw a rock at you for daring to exist. Die. All right. I don't know if I can like use it on my teammate, so I will make him delete and have him devour. And now we shall move back. So I become leader once more. I am the leader. Woohoo! It's very nice that no... A chestnut trap? I'm gonna drop some chestnuts on this fool! Like, I guess it did damage, but... Who needs Pokemon moves when you can just drop a chestnut on somebody? And they take damage. Maybe it's emotional damage more than anything. And that just seems to be a winding time just delay. We shall annihilate this fool. And then we shall do our customary save. What is with this dungeon saying hunger seed? Hunger seed, what do you even do? What is a hunger seed? A food item that slightly lowers the Pokemon's maximum belly size. If used by a Pokemon other than the leader, its status changes to Hungry Pal. It also slightly fills the Pokemon's belly. It becomes famished and unable to move. Nightmare inducing. Something I definitely do not want. I do not want Nightmare. How dare you leech my life when you had no life left on your side of you. Dead end there. Oh, you are so pumped up. I'm going to murder you. How does it feel to be pumped up and dead? Just imagine you're just pumped. You feel ready to take on life itself. 
you're like, hell yeah, life. And then a mammalian, like, canine-esque creature of unknown origins just slams its face into your face and you die. That's what just happened to that Pokemon. And it deserved it. Die, Pidgeot. You might as well just still be a Pidgey. A Pidgey to me. How does it feel to only do minuscule damage to your enemy? Whom you are supposed to be strong against. Imagine a grass type just walking through lava. You yourself, a fire type wondering, why has my god forsaken me? Why hath thou forsaken them? Because yes. I wonder if we'll even find anything. Because we're just after, like, Sonic the Hedgehog. Blue Blur speeds by. Sonic the Thief. Oh no! <laughs> it is the bastard who eats my food. Guys, what? I have hunger seed. I shall swap them out. Because this will inevitably be more valuable to me. Annihilate that man. Make that man disappear. This bird, that bug. This is a mountain range. Thank God that the enemy decided to not use the seed on me. That would be very annoying. And time wasting. Die, bird. Be gone. I'm just looking for more items. And I guess murder. A bit of extra murder never hurts. And none of these guys want to join my team, but the lowly Hoot Hoot did. Do we even count Hoot Hoot as a flying type? Or is it one of those weird things where despite having wings... Oh no. Ah, we're getting hungry now. Well, speaking of the moon... These ladybug people are hitting my man with comet punches. Ooh, my special attack went up by two. I am a normal type, so I'm not sure how much that helps me. One at a time, form an orderly line to your end. I forget if I've done the save this level. So we shall. Because you never know when the game might go. Whoa! Despair upon thee. A defense scarf. I wonder if my stamina band even stacks. With my... Like, IQ trait. I'm unsure if it does. I'm alone in the world of lacking knowledge. Wow, that does... Uh, I don't feel like checking out the bottom right-hand corner. It'll probably be nothing anyway. Huh. I shall kill the, the defense scarf. I shall kill the spikes. Like, that's something to tilt your head at. <laughs> In the world of Pokemon, like... Presumably, those Pokemon are Pokemon that you can, like, <laughs> recruit. So it's just like, they're real Pokemon at that point. What even? Hmm. We have uh, two escape orbs. Some more secret power for me. Kill the bird. The bird must die by the power of 69. How dare you peck me in the face. I peck you in the face. There's the stairs. That probably just leads to a dead end. 
Ah, getting dizzy from hunger. Thank you. Munch, munch. Apple time. How dare you wing attack, my friend. You must now die. I wonder if shiny Pokemon exist in the Mystery Dungeon games. I do not know. I shall take your rest. I am capitalism. Be gone, Pidgeot. You must die for being an idiot. Level 14. Oh, hey, look, Shang, there's Zatu. Just like we wanted. Now it'll be awkward the next time we meet Zatu. It's just like, hey, Zatu, we killed somebody who looked like you. You're just like, what? Right, now I don't even remember the voice I gave Zatu. Yay, another conga line of hell. Shane, why? We were leading them into an attack of doom, Brock. Well, I guess we can... Hmm. But this is like a story mission and we might have a boss fight, so I don't want to get rid of all my orange berries. Eh, maybe the defense scarf. Your reflect is useless to me. My confusion. My confusion. I'm bouncing all over the place. Shane, help. <laughs> Through my confusion, I am unable to die. Okay, but... <laughs> that was just a series of events. The Zatu just decide... That, that is a room of hell. Why? Why room of hell? Ah, yeah, since I'm poisoned, I'm just gonna run to the next floor. Ah, it's sunny. Rainy here, sunny there, despair, despair everywhere. We have gathered a thousand pokey just by climbing this mountain range. Imagine if you went on just like a hiking trip and you just found like hundred dollar bills just lying around. The mystical, magical dungeon money. You dare try to nightshade me and then try to peck me? How dare you? This is tunnel land. If that is a reviver, nope, it's a hunger. <laughs> that just feels like a mean thing at the entirety of the universe. It's like, I'm gonna make a food that makes you hungrier. Well, it fills the belly slightly, but it also makes it so that you're like, you're total, hmm. Now I'm just trying to think of the logistics of that because in the real world, hmm, no, because, because really if we think about the belly mechanic, it's a little odd. Because if you have a bigger belly, you can eat more and be sustained longer. So it taking away some of your belly technically makes you, like, more famished? Ah, you're protected, eh? What if I slam my face in your face? All of your protections are meaningless. In the face of my face. Light screen, protect, what, safeguard. You're still gonna die. You're not gonna live, little man. You're just gonna face death feeling a little more protected. Die, Mystic Birdman. Die not, Mystic Birdman. 
There's like five million of these. Just all around. Hmm. We have... That's what Reviver Seeds are for. Reviver Seeds are our healing. Now I'm wondering what the mechanics of the Reviver Seed are in-universe. Because... In the mechanics of the game, it's like... If you your HP goes down enough, you'll get hit with the uh, instant use of a Reviver Seed rather than just being fainted and knocked out of the dungeon entirely. But that makes me wonder what the, like, healing capabilities of it are. Because if you quote-unquote die under the effects of something and then use a Reviver Seed, you, like, cure that. <laughs> Death, it's the ultimate cure-all. Why the fuck is there a, a forest? <laughs> it, it almost feels like a forest. Okie doke. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. Well, I don't think we have to worry about running into any lady buff. Up in here. I just have too many TMs in my back pocket. Well, there's the stairs. Well, how dare you prove me wrong. And we haven't run into any... Ah, you know what, since our backpack is full and we only have like one apple left. We shall try to blitz through if possible. Why is that like an angry Togekiss? Or Togetek. Whatever your name is, you are now dead. No gravestone for you. So yeah, I'm hoping this is a short dungeon. I probably should have uh, brought more apples. And again, this is with stamina band and the, like, energy conserving IQ ability. Son of a bitch. But luckily, it didn't eat my goddamn food. I do have, like, one more apple, right? I have one more apple. Good. You shall not steal my apple from me, sludge man. Ah, well, really, there's no reason to not eat the apple at this point. Because we were running low. If you were smart, you would have done that twice. But now you are dead. Psychic or not, you're not dead smart. Goodbye, fool. Oh no. Would be hilarious if the game is like, here, go to like a 50 level dungeon, and I'm not prepared. Really makes you wonder why Alakazam didn't tell me, like, oh, just so you know, it's this kind of uh, place. You'll want to uh, prepare, bring a lot of extra food. Or did Alakazam just think I'll know what to do once I got here? Oh, they're experienced enough. They survived on the run from me. They can survive anything. Then we just die in the mountains. Shane, you fool. At least... Shane, you fool. You get to kill that Togetic. I'm out just... Oh, no. Don't die. Not to a Togetic. Shane, quit fighting Togetics. Shane, we're leaving. Gets one more kill in. Note to self, Togetic is scary. 
<laughs> and the game is like, and now your nightmares shall be granted. And now you're going to fall asleep one of these days because you were hit with yawn, weren't you? Well, well, no, that wouldn't affect you because you have the insomniac ability. Or, like, trait. Whatever. One of these rooms gotta hold the way out. This isn't a room, it's a passageway. How come there aren't stairs in a passageway? Once again, does that do decide to just fly away like weirdos? Oh boy, nightmares beyond my dreams. We'll kill these guys and then go up the stairs. You failed your rapping attack. How dare you fail, you snake. Note to self, bring like three to four apples in the future. Again, hunger seed. Why did I even bother to look? But there's the deep traps galore out to eat my face. Die, knocked owl. Go on to the other world of death. We gotta murder some people. Else these guys would like... Oh no. Oh good. I thought Curse would be like a different ability that would like do something to me. Let's just get a move on as quickly as we can. As quickly and squiggly as we can. Good for you. You will now die. I'm prepared to counter. You can't counter if you're dead. Which really just shows that they weren't prepared. I'm prepared to take damage. Well, if you die, you kind of uh, prove that you weren't. Oh, no. We killed the giant snake. We killed the little owl man. I am a fool, and I did not orient myself correctly. What kind of uh, seed are you? Fucking quick seed, what? <laughs> what are you? A food that boosts the movement by one level. Well, do we care to get rid of anything? Because I don't think so. Interesting that you exist. Latios? Well, we are going to save because. Okay. <laughs> These monstrosities can destroy me sometimes. Oh! Who are you? I see. You're trying to get your TMs back. But nobody can stop me! I'm the Eon Pokemon Latios! If you really want your TMs back. You'll have to take them from me! All right. Change, change tactics to let's go together. Your abilities are now unlocked. And I'm gonna throw a shadow ball at your face. And now I'm gonna smack you in the face with my other attacks. Yeah, bullet. Hindi's dead. I don't see why I was scared of you. <laughs> please. Please let me go. I have to go. There's somewhere that I have to go. If I don't hurry, my little sister. Latios, obviously. I would like to save my adventure. Save completed. Look, he's waking up. 
Where? This is Pokemon Square. You fainted in northern in the northern range, so we brought you back here. You! How dare you steal my fight selection of quality merchandise! You had better be prepared for harsh justice! Now wait. There must be a good reason for this. We should at least hear that. That's right. I have to get to my sister. Too bad. We beat you too- <laughs> We beat you up harshly. Ah! This wound! It's like I was shot with a gun five times. You're injured. You can't fly now. Tell me, how do you justify what you've done? I like how emotive Latios's sprite is. I have a younger sister. Her name is Latias. Latias. Crashed somewhere in the Pitfall Valley. What? The Pitfall Valley? What is that? What is the Pitfall Valley? It's near the Northern Range. They say that anyone so unlucky to fall into the Pitfall Valley will never again emerge. Latios and I were flying over the Northern Range when suddenly what appeared to be a meteorite struck Latios on the wing. The wing shattered. Shh. Oh, that sounds harsh. Shattered by the blow, Latios tumbled down into the depths of the Pitfall Valley. A meteorite? Neon, do you think that maybe it's a chunk of the blown-up meteor? I went to the Pitfall Valley in hopes of rescuing my sister, but I made little headway. It wasn't up to the task. So that drove you to steal technical machines. Yes. I intended to make amends after I saved my sister. But that doesn't mean I can get away with thievery. It was wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look to him. Oh, oh my... This is not a problem, not a problem at all. For a reason so compelling, it can't be helped. <laughs> oh, but if I stole from you in a dungeon, you would murder me. Jerk. Then again, I wouldn't have a reason. I'd just be stealing from you. <laughs> However, even if you were to plumb the depths of Pitfall Valley, what would you do then? The nether regions of Pitfall Valley are a void. You will wander forever, neither falling nor living. What then? So much time has passed since my sister crashed. Latias hasn't been able to climb out of the depths. She's all alone down there. Even if I end up like her, unable to escape, two would be better than one. Latias wouldn't have to be so alone. How foolish. Do you think Latias wishes for that? But it's a place you can't escape, is it? I don't see how we could do a rescue in a place like that. No. There is... There is but one possible way. You can? How? You already have the memes in your possession. The teleport gem. Use that. The teleport gem? The one we used to get up into the sky where Rayquaza lived? But it, it got broken by the Falling Star's explosion. While it is unlikely to carry you to the sky again, it should be able to carry you a shorter distance. If you were to use the teleport gem from deep within Pitfall Valley, that's it. If we did that, we could escape with Latias. Neon, this is a rescue that only we can do, because we can't give the teleport gem to anybody else. Let's go rescue Latias. And now we can go to hell. What fun. We finally have mail! Get down here and show me my gossip. Check mail. Mount Blaze, Mount Blaze. What would I even get in return? Okay, sure. Failed to return. And a yellow gummy. We shall accept these Mount Blazes. I shall go grab Shane. And then we'll head into town. Put away all the things that we don't have use for. Well, first let's see. We have a decent amount of money. Oh, yeah, we have no space for items. Why can't you just send them to my box? Everything else does that. It's not like I don't get rewards from quests if I have a full toolbox. Let's see. Uh, we have two max elixirs. 
Uh, we'll put one Max Elixir away. We're more than likely to run into Max Elixirs than Apples at this point. And as before, we will... Oh yeah, I also got a Joy Seed at some point. I think that's the rare, uh, rare candy in this game. We'll take three apples with us because... Paranoia, 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 paranoia. We're literally going to the void. Let's see. We'll take... A few of these. We'll probably take a handful of red gummies with us. So that I can try and super level up my IQ. We'll quickly check the, like the, what's it called? The board, the bulletin board. See if there's any, nope, there's no blazes. But there is, oh no. Well, they want to give me a red gummy. Because we have two mount blazes, a few stormy seas, and some uproar forests. What do you want to give me? Oh yeah, red gummy. Well, I guess I shall accept you at least. And that's it for now. Because a red gummy is good. And I guess I will take all of my money out and buy a bunch of friend zones. Very well, I, you can have all of your money. Let's see. Let's, because they're all just so expensive. All of them. Oh, so expensive. I could get the Aged Chamber. Frigid Cavern. Final Island. That's eh, good. Let's buy Final Island, why don't we? Gotcha, let's do it. Wiggly tough, wiggly tough. Let's be friends, you tough. You can, re you can recruit the singular Pokemon that lives there. I guess I'll buy the Frigid Cavern, since that has a decent selection of Mons in it. <laughs> a crater. Secretive Forest. So many places. So buy Mystic Lake since it's cheap. Because why not? There's just so many places that you can buy. And I guess you since... Because why not? Now I'll have to put all my money away. I would like to store <laughs> what money I have. He's just like, wow, you spent a lot of your money. You have no sense, do you? All right. And as always, we save before going on a mission in case the world is evil. And now we go to Pitfall Valley. which is apparently hell. Oh yeah. First, we're going to turn off your, like, more like boss attacks, and we'll allow you to go after foes. A blast scene that we don't really have use for. Charming music is playing. If you use a move twice in a row, I'm gonna turn off your moves because you just like to spam them. I do dislike this micromanaging. 
wrong thing. When they go to moves, you disable that. Prepare to die, bird. Oh, I just nuked it. The music here is interesting. Oh, hey, a farfetch. It'll be far-fetched for you to survive me. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Onward we go. I wonder how deep the valley goes. You must die a horrible, painful death. I do like just the soft flutes. They're just calming. Be gone, ladybug. We'll quickly check down here. It's probably just a loop. Nope, it is a room, but it has nothing for us. Again, another Pidgeot just dies. Our power is unlimited. I can just nuke with one headbutt. Apparently, or so I've learned, is that they removed that attack, that little basic attack, entirely in the remake. Well, not entirely, technically allies and enemies can still use the attack, but the main player character cannot, which is just weird. Excuse me. Meh. Wow. You, you ever see just a two pop up above your critical hit and you lose all faith in humanity? I wonder what the floor is for, like, that. Humanity. Pokemonity? Pokemon kind. But yeah, it's just like... Everybody but the player can use the basic attack, which is just weird to me. And uh, apparently it's not super duper weird because I think starting with Gates to Infinity and then uh, Super Mystery Dungeon, they did... <laughs> That's always amusing to see. But they did kind of do away with the basic attack to a degree because in Gates to Infinity, if I'm correct... Bah, bah, bah. Gates to infinity. Well, that's not good. I don't even know what that is. But back on track is in Gates to Infinity, they just did away with the like scaling aspect of the basic attack. Where it does five damage and is, in my opinion, basically useless. Revive a seed! Woo! Oh, and I forgot I need to eat my gummies. I completely forgot that I brought them. I am a fool. Just gotta power level my intelligence by eating a thing. And we'll save eating other gummies just in case. Like, it raises belly a little bit, so... He's gone to murder. The small child is dead. Everyone rejoice. Yeah, that'll totally help, yeah. Oh no. I have been confused. But yeah, I just don't see how... The basic attack in Gates to Infinity is just, like, meant to be anything. You can do five damage. Wow, this is useless. Especially because I don't even know if it, like... Like, who knows, maybe it is possible to do a run where you can do, like, actual moves against Mons throughout the entire game, but it's like... It, it just does not feel like it is possible. It just feels like it would be a trying time. Murder that motherfucker. How dare it think it can put Shane to sleep. He has insomnia. Hmm. 
through the power of insomnia, I will punish you. Well, that's a weird room. You dare bug me, bug? Now you must die. How does a bird even growl? What are your secrets, Birdman? Splash. Why do you have Splash, little weird man? Eh, it's a hunger seat, so at least we have something to throw out if we don't need anything. Oh no, hail. Pain and misery, are we? Though we do basically regenerate the health lost anyway. We shall replace with the hunger seed. Although the hail does mean that if we get caught out in super bad weather. Scopelands, I wonder what you do. Ah, critical hit rate. You not give okay good. Everything gets hit by bad weather. Uh, not right now. Primarily because we are on a story mission, and I uh, I can only presume that there is going to be at least like some kind of boss fight. Then again, we just had Latios, but you never know. The game could just go, whoa, boss fight upon thee again. You can never trust the game. It could just throw a really beefed up Butterfree at us and call it a boss fight if it really wanted to. Lo and behold, Mothra is here. A power band. I think that's what I used to use before I got the stamina band. I shall eat a red gummy. We will take this with us. The bird must die. It tries to flee. How dare. Goodbye. You ever just appear next to a child, punch him in the face, and as they try to leave, l just hunk a rock at him? I want to join the team. No. You don't get to join the team. No team for you. Die. How dare you. At least we don't have hail on this level, so that we can indeed just heal a bit. Kill that Swablu. For daring to get in the way of our vacation. It would be hilarious if just like, in the Super Post game, the team is just like, so overpowered, like, we're gonna go to the most dangerous area for vacation. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to inflict scary face on you and then run away. And I'm going to throw a rock at you as you run away. It's like that one video of like people in a school talking about Halloween. And then a guy in a ma mask and top hat pops up and from a, a trash can. Goes, ah, and gets punched in the face. It's like, boo, I scare you. The fight-or-flight response has been activated, and fight has been chosen. Also, I just realized that technically, these rocks do more damage than the basic attack does in quote-unquote future games. I don't know why I said quote-unquote future games. They are the future games. I am enraged so that when I take damage, I can do more damage, but I get hit once and I run away. Good for you. Our fearless fearlessness. What if I just threw rocks at it all day? Rock. 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 
Dwayne. <laughs> Come to think of it, I think my methodology is kind of why I have suffered sometimes when I play this game is because I want to go, ah, I want to find everything in this dungeon. Instead of, I'm going to beeline for the exit. Although, sometimes you can't even do that because you bastard. <laughs> they tried to summon Pokemon from items, but all the items were gone. But, as I was saying, there is, like, a bit you bastard, of an annoyance because even if you try to do that, on some levels, like the Solar Cave or the Lost Relic or whatever, there are specifically, like, important things that you need to get on certain levels. So unless you know the levels beforehand or are looking up a guide and your methodology is beeline to the end, you might, uh, miss out on important things. Oh, wait. We can fix ourselves. Shane, why did you avoid the... the thing that is good for us? <laughs> but I'm back on topic. So it does feel like normal dungeons, the idea is to go and just beeline it through the dungeon as much as possible until you get to the... Man, hell. Until you get to the levels that hold the quests that you need to do for that day. Like, say, just missions in general or the game says, Ah, stop. And since this is a hail floor, goodbye. Alright, more intense music has started. So yeah, I think what I'll do when we go into the... ba ba, -ba what's it called? The Buried Relic. I'll probably use a guide to at least know what floors the HMs are found on. Because, uh... <laughs> the Buried Relic is a marathon level of marathon levels, as well as I'm going to have to prepare for the marathon level by doing Solar Cave a few times to get the necessary keys, so I don't have to worry about getting keys within the Buried Relic. Hmm, this feels like a remix of, like, a... A past uh, theme, and I'm digging it. That bastard tried to use a blast seed on me. Okay, I'm going to tell Shane to come back. Let's go together. Motherfucker. I tell you to go together, you're supposed to come back, you whore! Now we can go about it. But yeah, this feels like... Uh, like a theme from far earlier in the game being ramped up. And I like it. Well, actually, I think we can toss away a blast seed for an orb. And we're not going to bother with uh, you. I'm just going to beeline to the end. In fact, do I still... Nope, I do not think I have eaten all of my gummies. Sadness. But yeah. The next time we go into the Buried Relic, I'm going to look up what the floors for the locked doors are. So I can just try to beeline it through the entire Buried Relic. And hopefully avoid the, the evilness. Be 
the instrumentation on like that main bit really reminds me of Tales of Symphonia. One of these days I'm gonna have to actually like do an actual playthrough on that. I think I tried to start one a bit back when, but then the depression hit, as it want to do. But I'll definitely have to give it an actual shot again sometime. Goodbye, fools. I leave. Because, like, if I wanted to do item runs... Oh, no. I meant to throw a rock. But I shall do it again because uh, you scare me. I don't know why. Aerodactyl is just a terrifying beast of evil. How dare you quick attack me. If you were smart, you would have done it twice. Ah, focus your energy all you want. You're still gonna die. Still gonna fall into a... Uh, 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 into a cliff? How does one fall into a cliff? Oh no. I have been subsumed by the edge. Is it just me, or has there been an extraordinary amount of... Well, I guess I'll just annihilate you, get you out of the way. But yeah, is it just me, or has it been an extraordinary amount of traps just failing? These past dungeons. And I think with you, I will have annihil annihilated your entire evolution line. Go ahead and use that evasion orb, why don't you? Your friend tried to make me cringe by biting me. You fool. Don't you dare use it. Ah, shit. Luckily, my ally is here to kick your ass now. What is this, a monster house that's not labeled? A monster air Airbnb? <laughs> you whore. At least so far, all of the traps that I have gotten have been just minuscule. Ones that are like, that way is hell. We're going to go this way, and it's dead end. The game is mocking me. You can't go the way of going. You must stay. And not go the way of going. You must stay here and be punished. Man, do I care? It's an item. I shall swap this Pekka Berry for you. Goodbye, dear friends. I say goodbye, dear friends. <laughs> so long. Maybe that's a Reviver Seed. It's a Quick Seed. We must kill the dinosaur. Goodbye. This is a long way. Why is it just a long corridor? Is it a long room or a wide tunnel? Oh, I have been sacrificed to the gods! How dare you. That's just mean. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go and go that way. And then the game is like, <laughs> no, you're not. Quit leech seeding me. What is wrong with you? Get back here and die. We'll just 
plow on ahead. Somehow, we have managed to not use an apple just yet, probably because of all the gummies. That almost makes you think, hmm, instead of apples, I'll just use gummies. I still wonder if that's the core issue with my playstyle with this game. If I'm just like, I'm going to do everything on these dungeon levels instead of doing the smart thing and just running ahead as far as possible in a small enough time frame. So this is just Aerodactyl State Park, it seems. Agility all you want, you're still gonna die. How dare you? This is a world of traps. Out to get my scarf and my food. So basically America. <laughs> I just realized though, Wigglytuff is a, a landlord. Technically, but for one small down payment of the salary of a dangerous profession, you're able to go and own land, too. He doesn't rent it, he gives it to you. And then instead of renting it yourself, you just let your friends stay there. Or technically employees. What the fuck are you? I'm not gonna test you out. You scare me. What would it do? Summon missing, no. Oh no, skeleton has been activated. Oh no, not x-ray specs. They'll be able to see my bones. Shane has gone to Murdersville. Population of uh, Aerodactyl, apparently. How do Aerodactyls still exist? If we presume that Aerodactyl or like... If the uh, Pokemon world is a lot like the human world with Pokemon, then Aerodactyl went extinct a long time ago. Then again, Pitval Valley is apparently a void that once fallen into, one can never escape from. So maybe we can just presume that these are Aerodactyl that went into Pitfall Valley millions of years ago. And there's just time dilation down here, and it's a hell. That's dark to ponder. Well, Shane's gonna want to go on a murder spree. Rock. Smash my face into your face. We're just gonna let them all come to us, I guess. Kill him. Murder him. It seems like a wacky thing to do. I'm just gonna get out of here before all the. I was going to say if I had to actually search for Latias, I would. Uh, but luckily, uh, da da da. You are. Did you maybe come to save me? This is not at all what the place looked like. These are trees. We were surrounded by rocks before. Yes, I'll be fine. My wing is still damaged a little, but. I can go. Then we shall teleport out of here. Would be hilarious if it just failed and we were stuck in the void with her. Latias! Gladios! You're safe! This is incredible! I'm sorry, I caused you so much worry. Oh, this is great! It's so touching! <laughs> My sister is safe, all thanks to you. To be honest, I came close to giving up. We were back together again. But we're back together again. It's happiness beyond words. We owe you so much gratitude. Thank you. It's okay, really. When you put it that way, it's even a little embarrassing. 
However, we have no money or any other way of repaying your kindness. So, it's the least we can do. May we join your rescue team? Huh? We would like to join, uh, would like to join Team Shining and help you with your rescue work. Would that work? Would you be willing to accept us onto your team? Of course! What should we do? Do we let them join? Yes! <laughs> and everyone is happy! Done! You're our fellow members from now on. Great to have you! Thanks for having us! Delighted to join! And thus, Team Shining was joined by Latios and Latias. Latios and Latias became team members! Well, no, they, they can have their names. If you want to add team members, you can do that. Would you like to save your adventure? Sure. I wonder what level they are. I'll have to go and look at them. And it doesn't seem like any story events have happened unless I walk out the door and story happens. Nope, no story here. Maybe a story will happen when I go into the... <laughs> Granted, I think we technically got a decent amount of story because... We got also that clear wing that wasn't in our inventory, I don't think. Because our job list is full. Darn. Well, I guess something will have to be sacrificed. Hmm. 600 pokey and nothing. 400 pokey. These two upper forests shall be annihilated. So that we can make room in our... Mailbox. Then again, yep. I find it funny that you can't delete them out of your mailbox. I'm too tired to move. How did you even get there? We can't even get there anymore. You are a fool. A heel ribbon, maybe. I can't even get to you. First things first. Let's see. They should be in the same place. Oh, this is neat. What's your summary? Level 30. So I guess not terrible. I assume you'll be the same. Oh, level 28. Mm. So they'd require a bit of leveling, perhaps. Just all the way out here, huh? Just to say hi, I have to go all the way out at sea. Just to say, I want you for a mission. Where is it? On the other side of the world. Now we will go in, dump our lockbox. Because I have too many things. Keep the apples. this into the box. Are there any gummies of a decent amount that I want to take with me? A red gummy and a green gummy. I want to have two of the other ones in case I need them for a mission or something. Granted, I could just go nom nom nom, all your gummies are mine. I shall put my pokey away. And now I think we'll go say hi to Zatu. Primarily because it's a thing that we can do right now that isn't the relic. And I, because again, I'm going to need a bit of preparation to deal with the relic. So let's go to Great Canyon. It'll take a little bit of prep work to get to the point that I feel comfortable taking on the really do. We'll just speed run this. I forgot how good the music is for this level. It has been a while since we've been in this level. I need to like uh, make my own playlist of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon soundtracks. die. And thus it did. And I just remembered I'd forgotten to take his uh, moves off, but now uh, you can just have a stare down for the sentry.
It almost sounds like a western to a degree. But yeah, we'll speed run the Great Canyon and see what other story unlocks from because I assume that we that the clear feather oh wait we don't I don't think we have to take the clear feather with us even if it is an actual item I think it's just like a thing that the story says exists so we don't have to worry about it at least I don't think we should have to worry about it kill him and now he is dead Yeah, we'll just go, hope that I didn't put the clear wing away. And that, like, we don't need it or something. How dare you. How did that hit him but not me? But at least I get an apple. Apple. But yeah, we should just have to run all the way to Zatu. And then... Presumably, he'll tell us more of what we need to know. About the clear wing and stuff. And he'll prompt us to go do more story stuff. Don't you dare, you bastard. You must now die. And then, if there is more story stuff that we can just immediately do, we will. But... then eventually we will have to go and face the buried relic. Because as much as I would like to just do it off screen just to get it done with, we will at least have one more try of taking on the buried relic legitimately. Where I will go, stock up on keys, and then have a stream of me going through the 100 layers of hell. Part 2. Buried Boogaloo. I will lead, read up on what is exactly required. So I might power level Latios and Latias. Along with Shane at Team Hydro a bit. So that we can, like, have a better chance of going through that hell. Especially because Latios and Latias fly! So if we do indeed run into one... Oh yeah, and I also have to do grinding for gummies. So that'll probably be another thing. Well, I'll do some mission grinding, but mostly looking for missions that give gummies so that I can just power level my IQ. Apparently, there are some glitches that allow you to, like, get guaranteed, like, rare items on certain floors and stuff, but I don't want to do that. Like, I'm all for using save states to preserve my sanity. But just cheesing in a bunch of joy seeds, ginsengs, and stuff, it's just like, eh. I don't feel like doing that. That's the kind of thing that you do after, like, like on another playthrough. When you want to re-experience the game. Because, basically, I uh, echo what a bunch of other people say. The story is great. The gameplay is a little monotonous, even by Pokemon standards, because, I don't know. It's a thing where I don't think that I would enjoy a Mystery Dungeon game by itself unless it was, like, Pokemon, especially in the way that it is. It's kind of like how I am not really interested in the Japan-only WiiWare Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Well, I think it was, like, one game, but it was 
done in the same way of like, ah, we're gonna split it up into three versions. Granted, as a light uh, WiiWare game, I could, that kind of makes sense. Gotta drink some water. While you are just bashing aside Pokemon left and right to get to your friend atop a mountain, remember to stay hydrated. Like on any hike. But I wonder what the story for the Japan-only WiiWare Mystery Dungeon games are. Because apparently they're lighter and softer compared to the mainline games. Which I guess is kind of to be expected. But I kind of want to know just for the novelty of it. But <laughs> they're just were never translated and never released over here. And again, we're WiiWare. Notice how much calmer I am just trudging through this. Hey, Zatu. I forget what voice I gave you. It's been a million years. What is it? Have you reason to see me? Clearfeather. Hmm? This. This is a clear wing. I see. About the Mirage Pokemon. That is what you wish to know. <laughs> the Mirage Pokemon. I know little about it. Yes, continue. However, there are Pokemon that live, breathe, and prosper with the very land. They rage with the eruptions of volcanoes, roar as one with thunder, and race with the north wind. They are said to be shadows, shadows of the Mirage Pokemon. To the northwest there lies a large island, an island known as the Three Fields. There is one such field, the Fiery Field, one of the Pokémon, a shadow of the Mirage, is there. Go, you must go to the Fiery Field. The answers you seek, perhaps they await you there. I think I've heard the name Fiery Field before. Maybe in my TV tropes, just binge reading. So, we'll go through our normal things and we will see. I think it might be one of the levels that requires an HM to get in there, so... I guess the two... But that wouldn't make sense, would it? Why would I unlock Latios and Latias? when and not need like anything from them like I didn't need an HM to get to any of the levels apparently I have a gummy when did I get a gummy did I bring it oh yeah I brought gummies with me to eat and then I never did because I am a fool but we shall see I'll keep my gummies. Power band, apple, Ross, apple. Pop, 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 pop. I shall put my money away. We shall save. And then we'll see if the game will let us go to the fiery field. And if it doesn't say, like, oh, you need this such and such HM in your inventory. Because I think that's what it is. You need an HM in your inventory or a Pokemon that knows that HM move. Let's see. Fiery Field. Can we go? Tinted Dungeon, you must have a Pokemon or have the Hidden Surf. Okay. Works for me. Then we will go grab Surf, put it into our inventory. Because I think this is a, a problem with the game is that you can lose the HMs. I'm not sure how that affects the story, though. Let's see. Surf, surf, surf. A 
and now we will go. Once again, I hope this isn't a, like, one that has locks on it. I don't think it is, but I don't know. I don't know if I know Waterfall Pond, Joyous Tower, and Purity Forest. Fiery Field! With the power of a CD! Is it okay to enter this dungeon with the following rules? Game will be saved before entering? <laughs> Silly game. I already did that. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, and this is also a, a mean thing because if you lose the HM while going in, uh, after going in, you're fucked. That's extra mean. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, man. You are not doing that to my stamina band. <laughs> no. No. I refuse. I refuse to let you do that to me. That is precisely why. I specifically use save states because of you. <laughs> Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, it tried to do it like an encore! <laughs> Why are you out for my bones? Oh, fuck. Well, that's not good at all. Ah, crap, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, it's just a slow. But yeah, that's just unbelievably mean game. Jesus Christ! A chesto berry? What is a chesto berry? A food that causes Pokemon to become sleepless. Will not be able to sleep. Oh, okay. But yeah, that is three goddamn things in a row now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a just a, I'm a gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Cure His Burn. <laughs> I have learned from my mistakes. And again, this is why I save on each and every goddamn level. Because the game <laughs> is unbelievably rude. Like, again, it would be one thing if there was, like, a minor discoloration to a tile where a trap is. But you might go, oh, but that defeats the point of uh, the, 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 the trap, and it's just like, ah, I don't care. <laughs> because, like, again, if it's a small trap that's like, ha, 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 I'm going to confuse you, or... Uh, ha ha ha. Like, I don't mind small-ish traps. Jesus Christ, is this a monster house in disguise? I would like to play a game. I would like to play the game! Jesus Christ! Oh, you can't move. What the fuck you want me to do? That is an absurd move. That is legitimately an absurd move. But again, this is just like, I am all fine and dandy with traps that you can't see that are like, lol. Uh, you're confused, or items in the room become monsters, or... Jesus fucking Christ! It's just like... You motherfucker. All of this bullshit. And we are not even part way through these dungeons. Like, seriously. 
because I don't want to super duper save scum. But when it's just like trap, 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 here, have another trap, there, have another trap, 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 just over and over and over and over and over. Again and 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 again on ending. I just feel highly annoyed by it. I'm just going to heal up a bit. Just a bit of manual healing. Don't need to know Orin Berries. Oh, they both come from my health. Shadow Ball! Like, I don't have pro- like, eh. I just think that there needs to be a severity to some traps. Also because, uh, the diddly damn enemies can apparently just walk over traps no problem. That's a little annoying. That I do doth find annoying. But yeah, I, unless you're- you motherfucker. Hey, you want some sludge? Because the food thing went bad. Here. I think that was one of my gummies too, you bastard. It turned it back on me. What a bastard. What is with all the... Do one more in this room and I'm gonna reload out of spite. Nah, 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 nah. I was serious. Bugger off. <laughs> I am not. I refuse. Completely, totally, no. I refuse. Dear friend, to be bullied by you! I will not be insulted by this bullshit. <laughs> I doth refuse! And I was being nice, being like, oh, you monster, you destroyed one of my gummies. And I was going to accept that. And then you had to go and throw like five billion traps at me. There's another one! You motherfucker! Why? 50 billion motherfuckers! Oh, there's so many motherfuckers! So many of them stacking up. <laughs> Why? Because again, I am perfectly okay with suffering the consequences of my actions, but it's just like when the game just decides, hey, you know what, how about fuck you? That is when I kind of draw the line where I'm like, mm, no, I don't think so. You dare come and fuck with me? I desperately hope that they, like, redid the, uh, like, stuff about the traps in the remake. Like, you're gonna, you, you take away my, uh, basic attack, okay, sure, fine, but at least I should receive a bit of aid in the form of, uh, you motherfucker. I should receive a bit of, uh, aid in the form of, uh, not having to deal with trap bullshit at 500 times a floor. Like, I feel like that's fair. Because a problem with... Like, uh, overwhelming the player with traps 
is that they aren't, oh no, uh, the evil trap has occurred to uh, hamper my progress. It becomes a, oh great, this again. And you don't, okay. Like, and I also don't, like, that's a funny thing. I don't really mind status traps. Like, oh, your special defense is down, you're slow, you're confused. Those I don't mind as much in Hello, my twin. Who is apparently worthless. But, yeah. It's the traps that are like, we're gonna do, like, half your health in one go, with no way for you to have avoided it. Ha ha ha. And ones that are like, we're gonna ruin your handheld item. We're gonna ruin this. We're gonna ruin that. We're gonna take your food away. And, like, the food one wouldn't be as bad were not for the fact that... Well, that's amusing. Were it not for the fact that there are some marathon levels in this goddamn game. So, destroying a food item is, like, almost inexcusable to me. How dare. I can't believe Shane would go and hit a 69 on that Flareon and not me. The bastard. But yeah, traps, <laughs> like in my opinion, need to be handled with care, or else they just become meaningless. Okay, fine, we'll kill the Rapidash. You happy? You happy to see somebody die in lava, Shane? Are you enjoying this? It is interesting to actually start seeing, like, some of the hero and partner evolution choices show up. I think the game has learned that I am save scumming. It's just like, oh, you're gonna save scum? Well, that makes screwing you over with traps not fun. Well, like, yeah, that's kind of the point. You screw me over with traps to the point that it's not fun. I'm going to remedy that and make the game fun again. <laughs> because through the uh, act of save scumming, I take this thing that just either turns a, a dungeon run into a huge slog, or like it, like it could like turn a dungeon run into a slog, or it could just make it a coin flip if I survive. Like, again, on the marathon ones, and it turns a piece of food into grimy food. What if I needed that extra apple? What if I needed it to survive? And I guess that is technically part of the difficulty, but it's kind of bullshit difficulty, if you ask me. Because, again, some of the traps I don't mind, but some of the other traps that are, like, so game-changing, like, I would even say, like, what is it? Because hmm. I, I don't think it's a monster house, like, tile. It's just, oh, you entered a room, it's a monster house. Like, I think that's fine, because that just adds a bit of flavor to the dungeon, and it's a part of the challenge that you can navigate. But if you step onto a trap tile, you kind of have nothing. You're just, oh, and the trap goes off. It's kind of like an overbearing dungeon master in a D&D campaign. Where you're like, I go into the room, and they... Basically, it's like that stupid... What is it? The super dungeon of death that was, like, created for second edition or whatever? And was, like, created by the original creator of D&D, Gainax? Gary Gainax, I think his name was? 
and the entire thing... Oh yeah, because I had a... I ate a gummy, so... But yeah, and he made, like, a super dungeon that was meant to be extremely difficult, even for the max level decked out in super-duper magic gear characters. You bastard. But the problem is, all of the difficulty came in the form of bad traps. <laughs> Where it was like, oh, you went into this room, you die now. Oh, you uh, did this, you die now. You did the this puzzle in this order, sorry, you die now. Or weird things like it destroys all your items. What's an eyedrop seed? Uh, info. Reveals hidden traps and in invisible invisible Pokemon. Hmm. Like, I guess interesting, but Yeah, it's like only available for one floor. And just, again, it doesn't remedy the fact that... Kill this motherfucker. Like, sure, there is a late-game seed you can find randomly. Yeah, we're gonna leave. Like, if there was a wearable, holdable item that gives you the eyedrops tool, maybe? But even then, I would still find the invisible traps highly annoying due to the fact that... It basically makes it feel like you have to have that item, or else you're just bound to not have fun. Imagine if you were playing Pokemon, but every step had the chance to send one of your Pokemon to the PC. Pokemon, but every single step you take, there's a random chance that one of the legendaries you're hunting is just, uh, despawns from the map forever. That's honestly what it feels like, just stupid little shenanigans. You bastard. Because again, with these kinds of traps, I just feel like they should either be somewhat visible so you can go slow and know. Or like something. I shall throw an orange berry to you. Five, I shall take control of you and you can eat an orange berry. Nom nom nom. But I've ranted about traps enough. It's just that they're such a prevalent thing. Such a big thing that affects the late game so much. I just feel like there are ways to make them not as bad. Go ahead, keep throwing rocks at me. You won't be able to stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Your death will always begin again. Oh no. And even then, stuff like that, it's just so annoying. What is a zinc band? Special offense. Considering that the only things that really... Well, actually... We'll just uh, do a little dance here and regain some health. If an enemy comes in, we will just leave. The Dance of Healing! It is the ultimate dance. Who needs orange berries? When one can just dance. Aha, you fool. You picked the wrong one to yawn at. And now I'm on fire. No, I'm on fire! Oh, 
<laughs> and plus, all the traps kind of reinforce the... The thing that I was saying about maybe the way to play the game is to literally just beeline it to the end of the dungeon as fast as possible and not care about anything else. That's what it feels like this game is trying to do to you. No, do not explore. Do not seek out everything. Boost Pokemon defense. Om nom nom, you are mine. Vitamins! Vitamins. I'm sure he can annihilate him. That's eh, just a stun seed. And now we leave. And like, that's another thing, the reason why I want to explore the dungeon in its entirety is because of items like that. The iron vitamins, the joy seeds, the ginsengs, these rare items. But if you stay in a dungeon, like, floor, and don't beeline it, shit like that happens. Several food items went bad. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to uh, reload because bad game. Rude. I will suffer that penance. I accept that as penance. I do not accept that, though. <laughs> I feel like that shouldn't be possible. Two explosion things in one room. Like, yeah, maybe, like, if there was, like, a minesweeper logic to the ma to the to the traps that might work like traps won't be immediately next you motherfucker stuff like who knows maybe there are weird magic rules to these goddamn things it doesn't feel like it. Protein! Which I think increases attack. Nom nom nom. Mine. You motherfucker! It would have destroyed the goddamn. <laughs> this is why I save scum! because they just throw an unbelievable amount of traps at you that are just unbelievably annoying. Also another thing, oh yeah, we're gonna have a trap that lowers the power points of a move or seals a move. And we're also going to like make it so the player, like we don't want the player using the basic non PowerPoint move. It makes no sense. But at least now I know that this might be a decent dungeon for uh, gathering vitamins, protein, iron. It's just that it's also got to be save scum hell because of all the goddamn traps. You could die to explosions alone if RNG is not kind. Yeah, like either the effects should be like less damaging. Like, instead of turning a food grimy, maybe it should just teleport a food, like, take the food out of your inventory and... Oh, no. Oh, it's in day! 
Then who's the Mirage Pokemon? Either Ho-Oh or Lugia? What compelled you to come? The likes of you have no business being here. I have the HM. That is my business. It is like my, uh, my passport. I am Intei. I live surrounded by the fiery lava of volcanoes. If you refuse to leave, I shall forcefully expel you. First things first, save because the game is uh, an asshole. And uh, let's go together. I'm gonna also give you all your moves back. Because it is bus time. Motherfucker, I forgot. Rock. I wanted to throw a, a, a shadow ball at his face. Also, apparently there's a glitch where if a legendary boss Pokemon is revived with a reviver seed and you recruit them, they keep their health pull. Because apparently they lose a bunch of the health from uh, elsewise. I... I lost you. What do you wish? I want to know about this thing. What? This is the clear wing. I understand now. To meet that Pokemon, stand aside. And his fiery blast made the clear wing flare. The clear wing transformed into the red wing. Take this and go west. There you will find the lightning field. You will know your path there. Now go to the lightning field. I have the red wing. And gained access to the lightning field. Well, that was fun. This feels less like story story and more like uh, segmented uh, fetch quest. Well, let's see if there's any gossip in the mailbox. Considering the last few times it has just been quests, highly doubtful. Let us see. No! I have been stealed from you bastards. And I'm gonna uh, get rid of all these E requests because. Uh, Highly doubtful that any of you are useful to me. And you're just taking up space in my box. There are so many boxes that I have to go through. So many boxes. But yes, we shall go and empty our toolbox and our money. Would like to store all the things that I have gotten. Like a chesto berry. Wait. I'm gonna have to take that iron with me. Because I want to eat it. I want to nom on it. And we shall put Surf back. Why did we even need Surf? We didn't even go over anything. Was it because it was uh, fiery and you needed water to put out the fire or what? It does not make much sense. I just feel like they needed a... Hmm, Oh, we need a reason for them to uh, not be able to access this, even though we gave them access to it. Which is kind of weird. Like, I get it, it's Pokemon, you're like, haha, let's uh, make it so that they, uh... ...need to use the HMs like they do in the games, but... I don't know, it feels weird. Join my team, Shane. But I do believe that that shall be it for now. We've been going for two hours. We did three semi-story-related quest dungeons. Yay. We went and beat Latios. We saved Latias. And we beat up Entei. Huzzah! And now what I will do is I will... See how many keys I have... Do more grinding with Latios and maybe Latios on the team against Team Hydro. So that if we need to bring in a Pokemon to fly over stuff, we can. And elsewise, I'll probably just uh, 
do quests to get me some gummies so I can try and brute force the IQ to get the ultimate IQ abilities. And yeah, next time we will probably go to the lightning field unless I feel like we're capable of go taking on the, uh, the bastard level. Because who knows? We might be able to take on the bastard level, but... Mm. Eh. <laughs> Maybe it's the possibility that you can take on multiple, like, uh, quote-unquote story missions at this point that they don't expect you to be ready for the goddamn onslaught that that is that motherfucker. But yeah. And then at the very least, we will give the Ancient Relic the good old college try another time. Probably if we run out of story things to do with the clear wing and everything. But if the next run against the Ancient Buried Relic Diddly D is annoying again and I am forced to just abandon that, I will just do it on my own time and not bother because... This is meant to be entertainment and fun. And just seeing me complain about the ancient relic because it will suffer from not only being super duper long, but also suffering from the a billion and one traps we're gonna have to suffer to get through there. <laughs> Cause like, again, I would like to not save scum, but with the amount of traps the game throws at me, I feel like that is an impossibility. He's like, how dare you play this game, punishment. Every random trainer you run into is like 10 levels higher than you and is guaranteed critical crits. It's just annoying. But yes, game is still fun. Nice to have kind of sort of story. Kind of sort of. It's more of just like, ah yes, an episode in the day of life of uh, Team Shining. But yes. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can follow me on two YouTube channels. Neon Icy Wings, which is an edited content channel. I swear, content is coming eventually. And then Neon Icy Games, where you can watch me stream games live. Or catch up on the various streams of the years past. And then if you prefer Twitch to YouTube for streaming live content watching, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And then, then, if you want other such things from me, like my art that created my little avatar, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Newgrounds, Inkblot, DeviantArt, just the whole shebang, there's way too many. And you can find links to all that in my link tree, which is in, like, uh, bio places, link places, description places, and it should be linktr.ee slash neonicywings. Meh. So much plugging. I'm also writing fanfiction, but I'm not sure if I should plug that or not. I think it's good. One of them got like a, a thousand upvotes on the site that it is hosted. So apparently some people like it, but man, Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.